hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys what is in my new coach boutique day tote i did show you guys this cutie when i did a haul um recently with lots of cute coach goodies because i lost my mind and added everything to cart so this was one of the cuties in that video this is the coach day tote um it is in the color faded blue um it definitely does look very pretty and super um close to the color tiffany blue this is what she looks like from the side this is what she looks like from the back and as you can see i do have my silver hand sanitizer um holder from bath and body works since the hardware is silver i thought that looked really nice this is the other side and then back around to the front on the front here i'm sorry about the little bit of the glare y'all the sun is you know what let me see if i can tilt the blinds up just a little bit they're kind of tilted oh wrong way they're kind of tilted down a little bit oh that didn't really help you could still see the lines right here it's okay we'll make do i'm filming in the boutique um on the couch so um don't worry about the light we'll work through it so anyway on the front here i do have the pretty tea rose charm that i did pick up um, with the rest of the goodies it does come with this pretty navy blue coach hang tag and then of course it also comes with this cute little um charm with the c on it i love how all of that looks together um i thought it was perfect so i didn't put anything else on the front like to go with it or on the side Let's see <clears throat> if you notice how this folds over and pulls down this is the only thing that i don't like about the day tote this is my first day tote i absolutely love it i would absolutely buy it again but i haven't really found a successful way to keep it from doing that other than of course forcing it back or trying to actually snap it closed um sometimes that works most times it does not because one i got it stuffed <laughs> but two the one on the back doesn't do any different it still will pull the back one down so whether the front one's down or the back one's down sometimes even at work i look over and both of them are down so it's all to the good i still love the bag but i did want to show you guys that is the only con um about this bag is how when you put things on it it does definitely make it pull down but we work through it around here because if she cute i'm carrying her so on the inside this is how i have her stuffed as you can see as always in true layla fashion she is truly stuffed <laughs> um i've got all my goodies in there and i did try that new um pint size organizer that i showed you guys in the haul i think it worked out pretty well um i definitely do like it i'm definitely going to use it again but i think i'm going to try something different the next time i carry the day tote when i carry the signature one that i picked up but i'm going to go ahead and let me see which way do i want to do this maybe i should leave it like this so of course you know I pack my bag where, hold on, pack my bag where everything is, let's see if I do it like this, is that charm going to be a pain in the butt? Yeah, that'll work better for me because then I can pull stuff out just the way that I actually would if I was wearing the bag. So let me try, that might be too thick. Let me see, pull on the edge. Ugh. Sorry, I'm trying to get it together because I like to see when stuff come out the bag. Okay, sorry. So that pillow isn't going to work. It just does not want to stay. But I think we're good because these are the straps right here. So you're not missing anything. Um, you can kind of see tucked down here in the front. Let me start with that. This is the wallet that I'm using. I just have it tucked on the side. Well, that was actually holding up some of the bag now, wasn't it? Okay, let me, let me get it together, y'all. I wish I had another smaller pillow in here, but I don't. So, ugh. And that happens too sometimes if your bag falls over or just when you kind of take it off your shoulder and put it down sometimes that charm will swing on the inside um but we'll make it work so tucked down in the front as i stated is the wallet this is the coach boutique win wallet um that i did pick up in the back i do have coins um in that zipper pocket <clears throat> on the inside i have my actual cards i don't have anything tucked in here and in here but i do have my health insurance cards tucked in there no cash in there and then on the front i do have my uh, most used card so that is my actual wallet and then i'm just gonna pull from the back and hopefully that'll keep the bag from <laughs> falling apart it's not gonna keep that dang charm from falling down though maybe i should have left it the other way I don't want to because then I got to flip everything around. Anyway, this is the cute um, small zip wristlet from the Coach Boutique that I showed in my haul. This is also in that pretty faded blue. I did take the actual um, strap off that comes on with it. You guys know I don't normally do the wristlet thing by the strap. It does have that pretty silver hardware with that gorgeous silver C on the front. 
Again, I'm sorry, the sun is starting to go down. It is, well, it's not really going down, it's just shifting. It's 544 here. This is my lady pouch this go round. So back in the back, you have the two um, credit card slots. I don't have anything in there except the tag. So if anybody is curious or hasn't seen that haul video, this is the tag. And then <clears throat> in here I have things I would need for the bathroom. So two compact expandable washcloths. These are from Sheen. You just add water and they blow up. Then I have a small pack of tissue in case the stall doesn't have any. I have this cute little pouch from Sheen that's got white flowers all over it with gold centers. And on the inside of this, I just have my favorite panty liners. Then in this cute little Sheen pouch, I have some pink Q-tips and some purple flossers. And I have my purple soap sheets. Y'all, I saw these in, where was I? Five below. <laughs> saw these in five below the other day and they had the clear one, um, the yellow one, a blue one, and then I wanna say a pink one. And I thought about picking them all up so that I'd have them to go with my purse setups. But y'all, when I tell y'all I was struggling to get this open on those, I was like, mm-mm. Me and this purple one just gonna have to be OGs. <laughs> We got to be besties, so that is my little soap sheet container. And then I just have two um, lady wipes and two of those little compact fresh snap wipes that you sometimes get at restaurants. And then I just have one of those little tiny spray bottles from Sheen um, that does have a cap. And I just have either perfume or Bath and Body Works spray in here. I filled a bunch of these up one night and I don't even remember what's in one, what's in what, but I usually just grab a different one with each purse set up just so I can smell something different. So I just have that um, to freshen up the bathroom should I need to. So just going to pack these goodies. Oh back up in here <clears throat> again i was using this as my lady pouch this go around so just all the products that you would need you know if you're going to the bathroom to take care of your business all right so everything is back in there Let's see if i can just stand her up back there um then this is my cute little um pouch I've had for a very long time it is a very pretty light purple so it's like a Layla purple I've had it a long time y'all it looks a hot mess but it's a perfect size for me to keep my glucometer and stuff in so I decided to use it I do have this cute little charm on the front from Sheen with a um, R in silver on the inside I have the goodies that I need so I have the actual glucometer and I have a different one the testing strips for my other one were super expensive I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I was not about to pay that um, so I decided to go ahead and just get a new glucometer then I have a couple of alcohol prep pads in here I've got one of those tiny little Louis Vuitton um, dust bags and inside of here I just have a gauze and then I have the actual um, lancets at the bottom so the little the little needles that you need to you know prick your finger so i have those two in there and then here is the lancing device that you use to actually prick your finger and then here is the bottle for the um the testing strips themselves so this is just my little diabetic pouch if you will that's what i like to call it i'm on a mission to make some major changes but this is working well for now then in the back here, I have this, which is the um, L-Zip Bristlet, I think is what it's called. I love this for storing my coupons and receipts. It is so stinking cute. I love the signature and this rust color, y'all. I have loved this since I got that Sutton bag a couple years back. I did also take the wristlet strap off here, but I did leave the dog tag. In the front here is where I have like my coupons, um, my member rewards for like Vicky Secrets, birthday gift, birthday is in a couple weeks, and then some other coupons. On the back, I do have some of my extra cards, gift cards, reward cards, things of that nature. In this back pocket, I don't have anything. And then in the zipper pocket is where I put receipts and I left the tag in there so that, you know, I can say what it is. I've been really good about keeping all my tags now. Sorry, bump the tripod. Um, so that I know the correct color and, um, you know, the correct name of the item. But in here is where I normally keep my receipts, but I've gotten really good this week and been getting them all scanned. So there's none in there right now. Alrighty, oh, that fell over. Okay, 
Um, next, tucked back here, is the wristlet that comes with the bag. It's that gorgeous signature print uh, with the Coach Creed on the front. And then, of course, the borders of it as well as the wristlet strap and the top where the zipper is, um, is that beautiful faded blue color. Um, the hardware is silver. Love that. And here is my catch-all. So I just have all of my loose items that I normally just have in, you know, a cosmetic bag to keep them together. So I've got my tiny little clear glitter pouch from Sheen that I have um, all my first aid items in. So white, band-aid, neosporin, all of that good stuff. Stuff. Then I have another tiny little sheen pouch that has my business cards in it. Then I have this little tiny snap pouch. It's actually from the Dollar Tree. Sorry, it's looking real. <laughs> it's got that sunlight directly on it. It's a little holo color. Um, and in here, I just have my extra contacts so that they won't get all smushed up loose in the bag. I need a hair clip, y'all. I'm burning up. You know what? There's a hair tie in here. Hold on. Give me a minute. Un momento. Let me use this brush real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sitting right in the sunlight, and it is like, hey, you want a tan? We, we can fry you a little bit. So hold on, let me pull this up off my neck. All right, hair up. And give me one more second to come about my socks, because that's what cools me off the fastest. Hair up, socks off. All right back in business as you can see it is pushed in on the bottom this is a flat pouch but this is not like the Louis Vuitton flat pouch this is more like the MCM pouch like she has some girth to her even though she looks flat she can hold a lot I was actually really surprised when I was able to get all my catch-all items in here and I didn't have to take anything out um, I have my infamous pill case that I have had for years a piece of hair in that. I love 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 this thing sorry um, in here, I just have an extra set of my daily pills, some pain pills, some Benadryl, things of that nature. Um, let me see what else do I have in here. My hairbrush I just used. Did get this from my bag sister, Miss Shonda, at um, Dazzle Me 77. So this is one of those compact combs and brushes. I love these things, y'all. Love them. So this side has um, brush on this side and then comb on this side. And it is compact, so it just folds right up. And as you can see, I do use it because I just used it. <laughs> I have my artificial tears, which I use as moisture drops or rewetting drops for my contacts. Y'all, let me tell you, one day um, Shonda went to the mall and she was, you know, shopping and sending pictures and stuff. And they had this really cool, like, perfume sample set um, and a whole bunch of samples in it. So, of course, there was a few in there that just weren't my cup of tea at all. Um, so, I gave him the jazz to get to her girlfriend. But this one, the Calvin Klein Euphoria, y'all. This smells so good. I ended up buying the gift set. Um, so I have a travel size perfume. It also came with the lotion, um, which I have on my dresser. And then it came with, of course, the large bottle. So I absolutely love that one. I will say though, I feel like, I don't know, like the sample seemed like it smelled so much stronger than the real one. Let me not say the real one like that one was fake, but y'all know what I mean. Like the actual, you know, purchase where you purchase the full bottle and if it's a gift set, you know, you get some extras. But I just feel like the sample one just, yeah, I don't know. The other one just sell, smells so much stronger, but this one still smells really good. And to be honest, y'all, this one has Ken chasing me around the house. Like, that, he loves that one. Um, tiny little bottle from Sheen. Inside, I just have my little moisture cream. I feel like I haven't opened this in a couple of videos. So if anybody is new here, it is a super tiny little bottle and I just have a little bit of my facial cream in there. Not a whole lot because this stuff is super expensive. So I just needed enough for on the go. Then I have my nail clipper, which is in Layla Purple. I got that in a two pack, I think from TJ Maxx a while back. I've got my favorite travel nail um, file in this little tiny purple case with a little purple leopard nail file in it. I have a blue cloud. I was trying to, you know, bring in a little blue. So I have a blue, I call it a cloud. It's a razor, so you can open mail, packages, cut tags off stuff, whatever you wanna do. Have my little iWalk charger from Amazon. I love this. It is linked in my storefront, so if you want one or need a portable charger, that one is perfect. This is a bag holder. It does have authentic Louis Vuitton canvas on it. It's from Etsy, it's no longer available, but you put your purse on the hook down here, you put this part on the table and you're good to go. They do sell these some up everywhere. I linked a few in my storefront that I would buy if I didn't have that one. Um, so you guys can definitely check it out if you need one. The inside is just a dark navy color to match um, the other accent in the bag and it does say coach all over it. No slip pocket, no zip pocket, but this is bomb y'all. 
I love this thing. I cannot believe how much that it held. I would not be surprised if I use this as ketchup pouch in another bag, even if it's not this bag. Um, I think it'll still be very useful because like I said, everything's sitting here so easily. I didn't have to like play, play Tetris or like put items in corners or none of that. Just throw it all in there and she good to go y'all. She is good to go. This is bomb. I'm definitely gonna be using that more even with other bags okay Ooh. so next in here my airpod case is hanging along right here so this is why you guys saw like the brown um strap in some of the crossbody bags i showed you i've worn recently just for quick grab and go days but same airpod case clear with a cute butterfly i thought it looks cute with the um the signature print so that's why i picked up that particular strap this go round um next we have let me see i feel like it's getting harder to see in the bag now because things are falling over but let me let me try and make some adjustments okay let's see how that works might have to hold it <laughs> all right so let me go from the sides over here i have my umbrella y'all know it can be crazy with the rain here in georgia so i like being prepared and i love having this um, I didn't take it to the last baseball game that I went to for my nephew, but it definitely came in handy. The previous game I went to where it was really hot and I wanted to kind of shade myself. Then I have the new sunglass case that I showed in that coach haul that I did pick up from Macari, I think. So this is the coach signature um, eyeglass or sunglass case with the T-Rose on the front, as you guys know. And as I stated in that video, I did cut off the strap. I don't like it. I don't use it. And I just don't, I don't like it hanging when I pick this up out of my bag. So I did cut that off inside I am still rocking my purple sunglasses that I did pick up from Ross I love this shape of sunglasses on my face this is like my fourth pair but my only purple pair so I've been loving this and wearing them no matter what my outfit looks like <laughs> um then tucked over here on this side Let's see if I can get it to show um, I have my pin case. This one is from the Dollar Tree. This is one of the newer ones that came out. It says good vibes only. It's kind of like a light mint blue color, but it looks really nice next to the bag. So I'm glad that I got this one. In here, I just have a couple of cute pins to kind of go with the setup. I have my OG Big White out. I love that travel size. And then I have a couple of pins. So I have this cute little one. I think this came in a Simply Gilded sub box, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it did. Let me see if you guys can see it. See that bow right there? That's the Simply Gilded bow that Irene puts on her things. Then I have this beauty. Now, she probably going to look real good because she got that sunlight coming through that window. Yes, Lord. So this one is a cute pen. It's like a really pretty um, Tiffany blue color. I have my OG tool pen with the um, blue gel ink. I have a mild liner. I only have this light blue one. I was kind of mad I didn't really have one that kind of go went with the setup, but it's cool. This cutie I picked up while I was in South Carolina visiting Michelle for Jayla's sneaker ball. Y'all, it's so cute. We got these from the Cracker Barrel after we went to lunch together the next day with our husbands, and I love it. It's so cute. It's full of pearls, and then on the inside, it has this really nice pin. So this one is super cute. I'm glad that I picked this up, and they were super affordable, y'all. I think it was like two dollars maybe three it was really cute then i have this cute bow pin from sheen i thought the color went well with the bag so i put that in there and then one more villa beautiful pin y'all know i love these so i try to match them up when i can this one has silver hardware and then the stones are like teal and purple and clear so super cute all right so let me toss these goodies back in here Ugh in an awkward position here y'all okay let's see what else we got on the side we have my pocket planner so this is a pocket size planner louis vuitton uh, pm agenda aka um small ring agenda tucked in the side i just have another villa beautiful pen this one also has some light blue teal ish pink stones on the inside just have my same old goodies so just a couple things to write on appointment cards couple business cards and this is just my on the go writing list jot down notes shopping list couple of notes about my new diet journey and you know sugar levels and all that fun stuff so just my tiny little on the go notebook, if you will. I did use this as a planner at one point um, and it worked just fine. It totally did. I can definitely plan in a pocket size, but I do prefer um, the personal rings now. And this one does have the 16 millimeter rings from Gilio inside of it. Um, the last thing in here is just going to be 
Come on, man. It's just going to be that new tiny, um, what you call the thing? <laughs> Bag organizer. I think it would probably be easier if I pulled it out. I know when people do that in their videos, I really hate it. And I feel like it's not a what's in my bag. It's a what's in my organizer. But because of the awkward position that I am sitting in on the floor, y'all, and reaching, I probably need to scoot a little closer to this tripod before I wake up my sciatica and piss her off. But you see how it's just like flopping over doing this thing and everything's kind of everywhere. So sometimes you do have to like resituate it and get it together and make it pretty. But yeah, other than that, this bag is definitely bay. But anyway, here's a little organizer there. The bag is still in the frame, so hopefully <laughs> people aren't too, too mad about it. Um, Like she's not all the way in frame. I should have brought something else I could prop stuff up on. You see that like blocks the whole bag. We'll get through it. Anyway, so this is the tiny little organizer that I bought in these two front slip pockets. I didn't put anything in this um, back slip pocket. I didn't put anything, but since the bag did not come with any inner zipper pockets or any kind of organization like on the inside of the bag, I kind of put my pocket items in here. So I have a Villa Beautiful pen with those little kind of um, iridescent pearls in it. I like using this pen now because it matches all the bags, all the setups, it's just cute. So I have that pen in there for a quick grab pen. I have a lotion. This is the Bath & Body Works Gingham. I have some brush strips tucked in this little pocket on the center piece. So just those. Then I have my favorite icebreakers duo. I love these things. I'm so glad you can get them in a big box off Amazon. Thank you, Miss T. Then I have my current chapstick. This one is the Honey Lip Balm. Then I have this little critter who cut me a couple videos back. I have the little CeraVe, Cera or however you say it, pint size lotion for the family. I have my six ring key holder here, which of course has my keys, everything, my license, emergency card, and my carry license is tucked in that back pocket. Then over here, I have my compact. This is my Too Faced mattifying powder. Is it gonna stay, is it gonna fall over? Okay. Too Faced Mattifying Powder. Um, <clears throat> I've talked about this in previous videos. I love using this to kind of control the oil on my face when I'm wearing makeup. I wish the packaging was a little bit thinner, but it's not. It's got a mirror on one side, mattifying powder on the other side. Don't mind the makeup there. And then underneath the bottom, you just have um, a space to put whatever you want. And I put a cute little, um, oh, you can see me. Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, I put a cute little pad in there so I have something to mattify my face with. All right, so that is empty for this side. I have nothing else in these um, slip pockets. I don't have anything inside the zipper, but you could put anything you want in there. You also can remove this centerpiece. On the other side, there is one long slip pocket. I don't have anything tucked in on this side. I have this cutie, which is another um, small uh, wristlet from the um, Coach Boutique. Um, this is in the signature canvas with the rust tan um, print with the gold hardware. I love, love, love it. On the side, I did remove the um, strap that it comes with, the wrist, wrist split strap. I cannot talk, y'all. <laughs> the wrist strap. And then I left on the dog tag and I put this little cutie on. This was unexpected. I got this really cute charm from my friend Akila. Um, it says Tenderoni. How cute is that? Let me try and show y'all. Y'all know I'm not left-handed. Hold on, let me get it together. Come on, man. Look at that, isn't that cute? So apparently she's making charms now. Whenever she's in the mood, she just kind of, you know, gets her materials together and makes cute little charms. This looks like a cute little coffee cup or a little lady with some shades on drinking some Starbucks. That is so cute. So as soon as I saw it and took it out of the bag um, for my Mother's Day gift from her, I was like, oh my God, this will look so good on some of my signature pieces. So I put that on there. So in here, um, this go around, I am using it as a uh, makeup pouch. So in here, I've just got, you know, my makeup goodies. So I've got my mascara for on the go. I have my Juvia's Place lip gloss in that Ruby Rose that I love so much. I have, oh, sorry y'all, this thing is not balancing well on this pillow. I'll get my life together next time and figure it out. Um, what else? I have my um, butter gloss, um, NYX butter gloss in the strawberry cheesecake, right? That's what it's called? Yeah. Strawberry cheesecake. Sorry, I know the sun glares a little bit. Got this from Amazon from Miss T. Thank you, boo. Then I have this Kylie Jenner lip gloss. This one is the Damn Gina. I absolutely love this one. 
Then I've got my lip liners, so Juvia's Play Scorpio, and then NYX Professional Makeup um, in the, what's it called, Coco? Yeah, Coco. So two lip liners. Then I use this compact, this go round, just for extra mirror. If I just want to fix my lips or check my teeth, I pull this one out. If I need to mattify myself, I pull out the Too Faced one. So this is just a compact mirror round one I got from Villa Beautiful with my ridiculously huge pin order. So it is, just like all the other ones, double sided. One's magnifying, one's regular, but it's very sleek and it's very cute. I love it. Smooth as butter. White. I love how it says Villa Beautiful on the front. And then the last thing in this pouch is just a, um, some tweezers, <laughs> just my purple tweezers. So let me throw these goodies back in here real quick. All right, perfect. So, oh, come on now, stop playing. I'll be showing out in front of company. Okay, so that's the other wristlet. And then, I bet, yeah, it fell. Um, tucked in this corner over here I didn't have it clipped on anything because the way that the clip is set up it's kind of short and this is it's not long but it's taller than this pint size organizer so tucked in the corner over here I just had my taser y'all know I like to keep my safety tools on me so pepper spray on my hips still in my bra and I'm ready to go um, in this other larger section like I said the taser was right there and then that makeup bag was right there then I just have this cute little phone stand I didn't have a blue one um, to go with the setup so I just decided to grab pink since I normally grab purple a lot I grabbed pink this go round. Then in the two slip pockets in the back, you guys can see I have this little cutie. I felt like I hadn't used her in a while and I wanted to use my cute little um, coffee cup pouch. So this is one of those cute little pouches from Five Below and I'm using it as a candy pouch. So I just have my emergency candies in here. And then this I love so much. <laughs> singing like I could sing listen at me um this is my uh tissue pouch that the novel crown made me love it so so much tiara is so sweet um so in the front here I have some tissues which I've been using so I do need to refill this and then on the back it's plain I love this glitter print you probably can see oh look you can see it real good I know we got the blinds kind of creating those lines but see that look at that isn't that cute love so let's see if I can get the charm to focus oh look y'all she's so cute and look it's like a little boba tea look okay come on now y'all stop doing that look see it moves isn't that cute so cute she sent the charm um, with the pouch and I absolutely love it so inside I just have a couple of cough drops and then one or two more pieces of candy just in case Tucked in the side over here, I also had my flashlight. This is an infamous Dollar Tree flashlight, the kind of rose goldish tannish looking one. So just flashlight in case you need to peek around in your purse at night. And that is it, you guys. This cute little organizer definitely worked out, especially with the side of the bag not having a pocket. And y'all know I like to have my quick grab chapstick car keys airpods all that stuff in there. So this worked really good to organize those things. So I do like that. So I'm glad I picked her up. So let me see if I can get everybody set up here so I can, you know, do a little, do a little shot. Well, really, let me see. Let me see if I can just actually move this a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try not to make y'all dizzy, but I got everything over here. Don't mind this. I still need to put some of my stuff up, but this is everything that I had in this particular setup. Of course, my phone is right here on the edge of the couch. Um, I just used this case that has like the brown um, glitter drip at the top and the A um, on it. As y'all know, I have the purple iPhone 12, the regular. Um, so this was my case, this go round. Y'all look at my pookie. Y'all see my pookie, Carson? Ain't he handsome? All right, so these are all the goodies that I had in the bag. Everything fit nice and comfortably, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Let me put this tripod down before I make y'all dizzy. Okay, perfect. So yes, I am very glad with my purchase and I'm definitely glad that I also picked up the signature rust color as well. Um, as y'all know, if I like a bag, I'm going to buy more than one. Yes, please. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.